These last two years, they've been tough. I've been stressed. Bad things have happened. But I think the worst thing that happened to me by far was the discontinuation of the McDonald's chicken chipotle wrap. One day they just stopped serving it and that was it. And I never really truly got over it. I just, <laughs> I just learned to live without it. But then that was okay. I went, I went a few years, nothing, nothing horrifically tragic happened until the other day when I tried to go to Taco Bell. Yeah, there's no Taco Bell here anymore. Oh, I think they closed it. Uh, all of... And all of Quebec? Um, and they're all gone. It's very sad. Half my diet is now gone. <laughs> and I was able, you know, maybe, maybe my life is better without those things. But then a few days ago, I tried to go to one of my favorite childhood restaurants and it didn't exist anymore. And I, I just, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Well, I guess I have to deal with all that that happened. But going forward in the future, I never want to experience that again. So I have to come up with a way to preserve the food so that if I know it's my favorite, I can just stock up and store it so that in, you know, in the future, maybe if the business doesn't do so well, I can still enjoy their food after they're gone. Is that a little extreme? Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the most obvious way would be to just get the food and to freeze it, but I feel like that only lasts for like maybe a few months before it just gets disgustingly freezer burned. I feel like the only way to actually preserve the food is to freeze dry it. So I went ahead and I bought this, uh, this freeze dryer to help me out. So the plan is to find something that is currently my favorite food. Then I'm going to freeze it and dry it, which should put it in like, I guess a state that's, it's kind of like a, a cracker. It's just dry and hard, and that should be able to be stored indefinitely. But to prove that this will work, I'll then have to take it from its cracker state and to rehydrate it and turn it back into the original food. I think I could get it to work. I, I, I think we can do it. And if it works, well, problem solved, I guess. So I guess now we just have to go out and get some food. pizza from one of my favorite childhood places. I, uh, yeah, I got a little hungry on the way. What I also got though, which I think could be fun, is a bubble tea. It's just a regular milk tea with, you know, the little tapiocas. So now this is all of the food that I wanted, but I also got this as a special request by Reggie, my friend behind the camera. It's, uh, a, apparently, it's an entire Chinese meal. Oh, wow. Okay, so, oh no, oh my god, so. Oh yeah, and a wonton soup. So why did you choose specifically Chinese food from this place? I grew up with this from childhood mm. too, so I just feel like, you enough know. Enough said, <laughs> enough, sa enough said. I understand. Let's go. So, I think I'm gonna go with actually two slices, just in case. Oh God. Okay. And now for my bubble tea. Perfect. Just lacking the bubbles now. <laughs> That's way too close to the top. Mm. 
Okay. You can do the Chinese stuff. Oh, yes. You know what? That's good. I think we can really, I think we can go more. Okay. Uh, to me, that looks pretty, that, that looks good and healthy. Now. <laughs> no, that goes on, that goes on the wonton soup. No, but we need, well, we gotta put them somewhere. Also, they're kind of already dried. I mean, no, no, they still must have moisture in them. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is the best part. I lost some, but you know, what, you know, what could you do? So, um, you forgot about the fortune cookie. Oh! An absolute disaster. Put it there. There we go. Perfect. <sighs> we actually can't just, we can't just directly put this into the freeze dryer. I mean, we kind of can. There is a freeze function on it. But it would just take a really long time. And usually what you would do is put it in the freezer and then put it in there. That's just too much time. What I want to try instead is to flash freeze everything uh, using liquid nitrogen. Why is it bending like that? <laughs> uh, it was designed like that. It was me it's meant to do that. Is it, it, is it gonna hold? Uh. Why is it making that sound? Oh no. Oh. Oh, so. Well that's really not good. <laughs> Apparently the flooring couldn't take it either. Yeah, I probably definitely should have seen that one coming. Well, clearly we need an alternative. <laughs> I have an entire metal pot. Well, okay. <laughs> we could have used that the whole time. I'm gonna put this down. That'll be good protection. Okay. okay, so, I don't think these plates are gonna work, or they might, I just, I, I don't have faith in them anymore because of that traumatic experience. So, different plates. So we'll use these metal ones from the freeze dryer, but also I need to uh, turn the freeze dryer on. Okay. Well, this pepperoni is going to be lost. Okay, we can drop this in. <laughs> the pizza's just floating. Yeah, this is getting cold. Oh yeah. Like, does it need to be any colder than yeah. rock hard? That's getting there. How long does it take? Oh yeah, that's good. It's pretty rock solid. I'm gonna put it into the freeze dryer. The trap is now at negative 52. So we'll load that in here. Okay. Next one now. Oh no, I'm afraid the pizza's gonna explode. <laughs> okay. On to the next. It's gonna take a long time. So I'm sorry, but <laughs> we need to put some directly. So what happens to the flavor of the soup? If you're adding- I think it's fine. Okay. I think it's fine. Don't worry, your soup is fine. This process is perfect. Look at that, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's gonna splatter. Oh yeah, that's that's done. 
Oh no, I'm already regretting this. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's going about as you would expect. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It looks fake. <laughs> I don't like how absolutely packed to the brim this one is. And for the finale, the general Tao meal. We gotta go fast, because I think the other things are kind of like defrosting. <laughs> Everything should still be really cold. Turned on the vacuum. And in theory, in theory, that's it. Just gotta make sure the vacuum gets to... We're now at one Pascal, which is like, it's a pretty strong vacuum. So in here, there's basically no air. It's just a vacuum. Right, so what's happening while oh, it's yeah. in there? Uh, basically, below a certain pressure, ice can't melt, but it's still able to vaporize. The idea is that it, the water will still evaporate out of the food but because it's frozen, it's going from solid to gas oh. instead of the normal, you know, liquid to gas. Like if you put this food in an oven or something. So it should stay frozen basically until there's no water left. How is, how is this better than putting it in an oven? Oh yeah, so if you put it in an oven and you heat it, that can change, potentially change the flavor. The other thing is like, you're, you'd be going from liquid to gas and by doing so, it kind of pulls a bit of a vacuum and the food ends up crushing in on itself a little bit. But if you do that, you can't rehydrate the food. It's kind of, it's, it's a one way thing. You can actually see at the tip of the pizza, it looks like some of the, the frosty part is gone. Like it's receding. And I think that's just because the ice is vaporizing. This is not a, it's not a fast process though. And I'd say it's gonna take at least at least 15 hours. And just to be sure, I think 24 is what I'll leave it for. It's been about five days, which is significantly longer than one day. I was really hoping that everything would go great, but every, everything got cracked and fell apart. <laughs> and I, I think it's just because of the liquid nitrogen. It's a little bit sad, but I think we, the pieces are still big enough that it's still a good proof of concept. The general towel meal somehow looks kind of funny. I started off doubting the general towel, but now I feel like it's our only hope to have a fully intact meal regenerated. Remove the dome. Look at all the ice in there. That is all of the water from the food. It smells like pizza. <laughs> it actually smells like pizza. I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't dry, so that's why I did it for five days. But I think it's nice and dry. So we got the first piece. Again, in hindsight, it seems really obvious that dunking pizza in liquid nitrogen would probably crack it. But I think this is still fine. This is still fine. Oh. Okay. There you go. I mean, we're obviously gonna rehydrate this, but I kind of just want to try, what does dry pizza taste like? Look at that. I think that's a good piece. Look, you got the, you got the cheese, the pepperoni, and the, uh, the bread. Oh my god. It's like pretty good. No. It's just a cracker that tastes exactly like pizza. The next is this. The egg roll, definitely, it's seen better days.
kissing an egg roll. I think the theme we're having here so far is it works. It's just now really dry. Oh, what's my fortune? That was my fortune. Prosperity makes friends. Adversity tries them. Okay, sure. Now for bubble tea and wonton soup. <laughs> Look at this, it just fell apart. Are these wontons? Those are wontons. No! I'm pretty sure that without all the water, this is just 90% MSG. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the bubble tea. Can you see how fluffy it is? Yeah, this looks exciting. Uh oh. It's like super concentrated milk and then pure sugar. I forgot about the sugar. And these tapiocas are like inedible. The last one. Oh God. How does it still have so much mass? It feels like tungsten. <laughs> what is in this meal? Without the water, how is it still so heavy? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. What is this, chicken fried rice? That's chicken fried rice. Okay. It tastes like uncooked rice, except you can chew it. Mm. Now, <laughs> for the general Tao chicken. I feel like this is the worst out of everything. I don't know how to describe this. It's like the weirdest texture with the, a flavor I've never had before. It's not that bad. So far, 100% success. Well, minus all the cracking, 99% success. Or 98%, 97% success. <laughs> In theory, at this point, the food should be preserved and we could just bag it up and store it. So in like five years, I could have another pizza cracker if I wanted to, but I don't really want to eat pizza crackers in five years or general Tao Taffy. <laughs> so now we have to somehow convert all of this back into what it once was to see if it's even possible. I think it can be, I think it can be done. Minus all the cracks. Like I assume it, you know, we ignore all that. I think these ones, it's just a matter of like mixing it with water. That I'm not too concerned about. I think it's just, that's it. The more food solid ones, I'm not entirely, not entirely sure how to turn this back into non-cracker form. What happens if we just put like water on the pizza? Uh, Will it just absorb it and then turn back into pizza? Well, the problem with the bread is it'll get soggy. That's the problem. I think the only option we have is this. I think that if you just kind of like make hot vapor around it, the food will reabsorb the moisture and go back to, just go back. So I filled this with water. I think it's just that. And that's it, you just turn it on and it steams. That's it. I mean, if it works, that's really simple. Okay, let's load it up on the spatula. Pizza time. In my opinion, this will work perfectly. I think we gotta leave it there for a bit. Just a couple minutes. Oh, that's looking better. How can you tell? I don't know. Okay. Moisture's coming back. I, I'm feeling good about this. I think while we wait, we will uh, try to regenerate the beautiful wonton soup. All we need is boiling water, I guess. The wonton dust. That's about about enough, right? It's pre-chewed. It's just, it's all pre-chewed. Okay. Taste test with the chunks. It's a little bit chewy, but other than that, it's pretty good. 
Just tastes like wonton soup. To make the tea, I think I just have to basically shoot it into water. Success. It's basically just instant milk, milk tea mix. Just, it just tastes like the bubble tea. Well, except for the tapiocas. Yeah, those are inedible. <laughs> and now we will check back on the pizza. Uh, oh. The cheat. oh. That, does that look good or bad? Uh-oh. I think we gotta rescue this pizza. I'm panicking right now. I'm panicking. Oh no. It's okay, it's good. How does it, how does it look worse than when I put it in? Yeah, it doesn't, the cheese got darker. Does it cook cheese at like, no. Oh no. The cheese got like cooked. Oh my God. This is a disaster. Is the flavor still there? It's honestly worse than before. I want to try a piece of pepperoni. It's not good. <gasps> oh. How? Oh. No. I think the steamer, like look, it's been sitting here for, the steamer is an embarrassment and it will not work. I think I'm, I'm ashamed to have even tried. This is our last hope. This is, this is, this is our only hope. And I'm gonna be totally honest. It doesn't look good. So how are you gonna rehydrate the chicken? Okay, I think we need to add a little bit of water on top. All right, let's go. This isn't hot water, it's just cold water. I think we gotta add a little bit just to jumpstart it. Yeah, see it just gets absorbed. Oh my God, it just, oh, the chicken's sucking it up. Yeah, that's probably enough water. No, no, we gotta, look at it, it's still, it's still so thirsty. <laughs> so we'll refrigerate this and every so often I'll come by and I'll water the general towel. <laughs> and hopefully by tomorrow morning, we'll have a very nice general towel breakfast. I'm ready for that. I guess that's it, right? Should I just try it like this? No. Oh. We should heat it up. Mm. Here it is. It really does, it just looks like either an instant meal or leftovers. Uh, what do I test first? I'll go with the rice first. Okay, texture is, uh, Pasty and this is pasty. Good. Honestly, it's like a little bit pasty, but it tastes like instant rice, kind of. Not bad. Has like, I feel like it's eighty percent of what it once was. I think the the biggest test is the chicken, because I have I have my doubts whether the chicken got rehydrated. <laughs> Um, the chicken there looks a little glassy. <laughs> it, it looks like it's encased. <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's pretty good. It just tastes like I think the best way to describe it is the chicken has the texture of like a spare rib. It's a little bit tougher and chewier, but this is 100% edible, which to me 
is good enough. You want to try some? Yeah. Here. This okay. is your meal. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. I mean, it looks like it's original form, so, I mean. Honestly, if this restaurant was gone, and this is what I had after a lot of years, many years, I would give this like an eight on 10. <laughs> Objectively, what is it? Objectively, like a three on 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So I think what we need to do now is get a couple other opinions. Objective opinions. We're biased. We need objective opinions on how good this is. Hey guys. You guys want some food? <laughs> Not really. It's a little, a little dry. <laughs> it's a little bitty and gritty, you know? <laughs> but what would you rate it? No, do do I know where it's from? No, nothing. No context. Uh, you just, you, you five on ten. Okay. Mm, why is it so hard? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's so bad. Dude, that's so. Like it's like it's like overdone spare ribs. Overdone spare ribs? No, it's just like an abomination of food. <laughs> <laughs> So, clearly, my taste is not as refined as everybody else's, because I think this is kind of fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Totally acceptable. But, I do understand uh, that it, it also needs improvements. I think in the end, though, we proved the concept, right? Yeah, the concept has been proved. We, we proved that you can, you can kind of bring it back, but clearly more research has to be done. So for some things, we're really close and other things, um, I guess we can only hope that the technology gets there one day. Uh, so what do we do now? We have all this amazing food. Do we just like... We eat it. All right, so this video was not sponsored. We chose not to sponsor it because instead we are unveiling our beautiful new Nile blue shirts. They, they're originally inspired by a Nile red shirt that we produce, except it's different. It's more Nile blue. So this isn't even, this isn't actual masking tape, just the design. It's so well done that it could fool anyone. It's actually pretty well done, to be honest. Like, I thought it was masking tape when I first saw it. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. I really like them. And if you want to buy them, we're having a limited time campaign, right? Is it limited time? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a limited time campaign. You have two weeks to get it, and then it's gone indefinitely.